New developments tonight in the death of Jelani Day. The FBI announcing a reward for information about what led to his death. In late August, the Illinois State University student was reported missing. The coroner said he had drowned. But his mother has always maintained something more happened, pressing the FBI and other law enforcement to dig deeper. News Nation's Felicia Bolton is here now with more on today's developments. Yeah, the FBI is now coming forward. They say that they're going to do a little bit more whenever it comes to this case. As months go on, still there are more questions than answers as to what happened to Jelani Day. Now the FBI is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information on what happened to him. A mother's pain. I wake up every day having to deal with the fact that I cannot talk to my son. Turned into purpose. I've been giving you things and giving you information that wasn't followed up, that wasn't taken seriously. I need answers about what happened to my child. Unsatisfied with the local investigation, Carbon Bolden Day hired civil rights attorney Ben Crump. They do not accept this proclamation from the local police suggesting that Jelani committed suicide. Nearly one week after this press conference, the FBI is now doing more. On Monday, the FBI announced the Jelani Day Joint Task Force has enhanced measures aimed at identifying new leads related to this investigation. Agents say they are engaging in a coordinated nationwide multi-platform social media campaign to identify new leads and even offering $10,000 for substantial information on Day's final hours. The Illinois State University student was reported missing on August 25th. His body ultimately discovered on September 4th in the Illinois River in Peru, Illinois. A coroner determined in October Day died from drowning, but says it was unclear how the 25-year-old had gone into the river. His mother believes her son was murdered. Somebody thought it was a good idea to take him from us. <sighs> and I want answers. And they are asking the public to submit tips, even anonymously, by calling 1-800-CALL-FBI. This family has been advocating in this case. We've seen them do a lot of things here. Let's hope this helps. Felicia, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.